talking really low because my niece is in the dining room taking an online class. Thank you, COVID. Um, but we got these today in the mail. Each of us got one bag with four books. We got ASA 101, ASA 103, 104, and 114. So very excited. We're supposed to take the course out of Fort Lauderdale, but they said that there was an opening at the end of January to take the one in St. Thomas. So we're mulling it over to see if it's something we can afford and can take time off and all that good stuff because it's at the end of January. So we better make a really fast decision. But otherwise we are definitely booked for the one in Fort Lauderdale in the middle of April. So super excited. I will uh, definitely need this. Welcome to 2021. I guess today's January 12th and we came to check on the boat after Christmas holidays and such because we're deployable again. So we want to check and make sure that it's okay. And we're trying to pick the lesser of two evils. Donovan's about to fall in the water, but we had the motor up and the blade kept hitting every time there's a wave or whatever, it kept hitting this rubber piece right there. So it's actually been hitting here in the wood too. Right there. So we put the motor back in the water, figuring it's painted and we'll just clean it next time we use it if there's a lot of growth on it, but at least it won't be hitting anything. We definitely need to work on that motor because it won't stay up now, it keeps falling back down. Well, today is February 19, I think. We just got back from Louisiana working the storms. Texas is frozen. And we got dolphins. Very playful dolphins this morning. All right, what's the plan? What are we doing? I'm putting this, this on. Mass gate? Mass gate right here. So, I, gotta, I gotta do some measurements first so as well. So putting the mask gate so that we can feed all the slugs of the sail in and they stay in Correct. at all times. Correct. Okay. You go lay down. Go lay down. So it says measure the length of the sail. Measure the length of the sail track and put slot at its longest. Six. Alright. So we gotta put this in there. Like this. See where it's bent right there? Yeah. I gotta, I gotta bend this so it sits in there perfect. So I got it. That's what I gotta do. You have to cut it to the size of our mast? Yeah, so we cut it to the size of our mast. See what I gotta do is now cut that, cut that, and we'll cut it shy. So, it fits so they make those for different, but this is Catalina. Right. Is it just but, for a bigger sailboat? Right, but this is what's keeping it in there. Right mm -hmm. here, okay? Okay. This is the part that's going to take a minute. I mean, I could cut it, but if I cut it, I cut it wrong. So what I did was bring some files, which it said to file. You're going to file it? That's going to take forever. Yes, it is. What were you just drilling? I don't see anything. Holes in the mast. 
Oh, I see him now. You don't see it? I see him now. All right, I'm gonna tap these holes for the tap that was provided. What's wrong? They're not lining up? Screws walked over. Screws walked on me. Screws walked on you? I don't know what that means. The drill bit walked on me. I don't know what that means either. It mean it moved when I started screwing. How did you figure out how to put the screws into well, the holes bent, without it? So I'm trying to bend it back so it'll actually stay in there. Because I don't know if the if the things are gonna go in there or not. So when you put the screws into the thing, the whole plate moved inwards to the left? Yeah, and I didn't want it to. I'm trying to bend it back now. I can't bend it because of that right there. Um pair of the orange pliers right there. you'd figure it out. I had no doubt. One of those white containers is a uh, slug. Slugs. Aren't the slugs on the sale? Yeah, but I'm just looking to see what time we got. Yeah, I'm gonna see if it'll slide through there. You can turn it off. <laughs> Are you thinking? No. They won't fit? Well, you can't get them in there without having this off there. So you want me to turn it off because you're about to cuss? <laughs> so you have to put that in there, and put these in there, bring it all the way down. I need to screw that with the drill. The drill okay. is right there. So we got to feed the sail through before you put the metal on. You want me to hold that so it doesn't fall in the water? You can't put that in there with the way it's tied up. With the boom thing? Yeah. No, what I'm you know, still not getting what I'm saying. No. But I will. Well, to get this in there, it's rolled all it's not It's rolled, rolled up right now. Not rolled, it's another name. Furled. Huh? Furled. What it's I don't know. I'm making shit up. <laughs> I'm trying to sound like I know what I'm talking about. I'm on page 32 of 101 right now. You got to cut me some slack. In one month, we're going to take our course, and I am only on page 32 of 101 right now. So 
I need to probably start reading. You know, I think I know what you're talking about. Once we unroll it, feed it all the way through, then it's gonna look like the catamarans where it goes like this, watch. Like this. And then it lays on top of the, boom. Does that make sense, what I'm saying? It makes sense, get to it. Do you want me to set up the camera so I go up there and help you? back at the boat we got a mess gate up so we fed all the slugs through the mess and put the cover back on and I should have shot some video with my phone just in case the camera doesn't work since it's new and I'm new at using it but like an idiot I didn't do it so hmm? we've been gone for a month and we're checking to see if there's any water anywhere inside the boat our new power how do we know when they don't work anymore when what when those humidity sucker things. Oh, wonderful. When you bought them, did they have yellow little dots on them or did those no, grow? No. So we've been sucking up some of the water, right? So those little yellow things, those little egg looking things that grew from the water, from the humidity? Yeah. Are they alive? No. Uh -uh. Cause when you bought them, I thought they just had white yeah. powder inside. Nice video of your butt. Checking for leaks and mold. I don't see anything damp and it's just been raining for the last week or two, so, so we would be able to see something damp. Yeah, it's just where that was coming in back there. But you waterproofed the whole pop top pretty well. And you waterproofed all the windows, you resealed all that stuff, so more water would be coming in. It leaked over by where the fire hydrant is. Yeah, but we fixed that. Let's go, you know. This is completely broken off, which means it can just fly away with the... Hmm. That wooden thing is completely broken off. The slightest wind and it's going to blow away. Do you have another one of those black bungee cords that we can put around it? It's not leaking anywhere because we've got that new blue cover on top. That was a really great purchase. Cute. We couldn't find the white duct tape, so we're using electrical tape, and by we I mean he. And you're gonna take it all apart? No, oh, I gotta get this. I gotta get this thing out of it so I can stick it back down in there. I don't want it going in a hole, making a hole. So just... Why don't you leave it completely off and we'll take the wood part, we'll take the wood home and then super glue it. that tick? Yeah, I thought we would do this. Do this. Yeah, they need it. It's gonna fall apart. Oh yeah, this has like lacquer or old glue or something all over it. What doing? You're sanding it? Um, yeah, sanding it so I could attach it. I mean, look at it. And super glue it? No, I was gonna put some things called biscuits in there to hold it together, hopefully. I know what a biscuit is. Not the non-eating kind, I know what it is. They put them in furniture. See that? I gotta get that so it sits level, square. Yeah. 
plum or whatever you want to call it. Flat? Yeah, and it's trying to get that. It's, it's not the easiest. Nothing's easy. Nothing about owning a boat is easy. You're gonna have to let it sit. You put glue on it? Yeah, I glued it. Now I'm trying to get it to st stay so I sand it when it gets ready. Glue. Gorilla glue, like that lady put all over her hair? No. Uh -uh. This is just regular glue, so what I'm gonna do is. Glue bot. Yeah, it's, it's not, it's supposed to squeeze out, but it's not squeezing out, so I have to. Because it's so freaking cold outside. It's actually pretty nice today though. Texas and Louisiana are still completely frozen. South Carolina's... Oh, I thought we were done. Hang on, I'm coming back. It looks like moose. You're putting dust on it to make it the same color? I'm filling the hole. Look at you go. I'm not snorting teeth, I'm just mixing. Get this epoxy on it. On the whole thing? Yeah. Epoxy? So, yeah, the same thing. Oh, we got all kinds of lacquered stuff over here. So that's for the companion hatch? Yeah, it's just like... What do we have right now? We have one. It's just an extra one. Okay, so that's an extra one from Atlanta. And then we got the ball. Oh, that's already on the boat. There's you took it out? No. Yeah, because there's a koozie in it right now. It's bigger than that. It's like, yeah, big. Okay. That's where the, uh, the wet channels are. Very nice. And that's... And where does those go? I didn't want to do those. Cause that's where, that was under the table. Okay. Very nice. Is the current companion hatch that we have wood or starboard or whatever that plastic stuff is? To open the, the companion hatch, yeah. Just like that. It's wood like that. Let's see what that one does. Let's see if it lasts. 